All right, so uh, if you're anything like me, you have problems with your rock-hard cock. So anyways, we're going to, you know, this is the first time I've done some caulking, you know, and what's interesting about it is I'm an expert now, and all the videos online did not tell me how to remove the really, really, um, I wouldn't say brittle, because a lot of it wasn't coming off, but it was basically literally rock-hard caulking around the edge of the bathtub and all the videos made it seem like oh just get a little putty and no it'll peel off like it's fruit roll-ups or something and that's not quite what happened and I was just I was using uh, this stuff here and I was using a steak knife a hunting knife a screwdriver and none of it was coming off or well some of it was coming off but not much uh, I looked online real quick they said use some rubbing alcohol use some WD-40 that sort of loosened it up but the next day, I went back to the store, and I got this stuff. It's called, uh, I think the halal version is pronounced Jugon. Um, again, I don't like to take sides in these uh, pronunciation things. But this thing worked really well. They say leave it for two hours, up to seven hours. I also ended up putting some cellophane around the edges here, or just to make sure it doesn't evaporate. Whatever extra is there, I kind of shoved it in there. And uh, it came off. It really softened it up, you know. So I would say if you're going to be doing caulking and it doesn't peel off very easily, this stuff works really well. This is sort of an old house, so I was also worried because the caulking stuff, oh, we'll get that. I, I kind of forgot that. We'll get that. But the, the actual new caulking that I was going to put on, the back of it says to remove it, use acetone, okay, or uh, mineral spirits, um, that sort of thing. The problem is I don't know what kind of caulk this was because I've never seen caulk that was so so just crystallized to the to, to the tub. So I'm like, well, this works on all sorts of latex caulk, silicone caulk. It, it just should work. It's it, that's what it says on there, right? And it did. So it was well, it's six bucks. Um, you know, so six. So you can remove it after. Let's see here. Um, so yeah, after that, I, I just used the simple little putty knife. You know, I, I already had that around. I didn't have to, to use anything else. And then to clean it up, uh, some compressed air to shove everything out of the way. And also to disinfect it, because there were some black spots, especially under there. I used the foaming bleach. Not liquid bleach, because especially with the carpet here. I don't know whose bright idea is it to put carpet in a bathroom. But the point is, I didn't want that stuff leaking out here. And I just put that there for a couple hours. I use a used toothbrush to kind of rub against it a little bit. Uh, I took some, some uh, old towel to, to rub it off. And I let it dry overnight, the, uh, the chlorine solution or whatever, the uh, Clorox foamer thing. And it looked pretty good. You know, I kind of dabbed it, kind of dried it, let it dry. And uh, the next day, it was very easy to apply. Just like in the videos, you put the painter's tape you know, just so you get this even line. And, you know, some people are like, oh, use the back of a disposable spoon. Use one of those little devices you can buy. Some people are like, use your finger. But, you know, it gets on your finger. That's not very good. So what I did was I, I didn't have a, gloves. I didn't have anything else. So I used the cellophane. I'm like, oh, I can just put the cellophane on my finger and then just run it through. And then I didn't get it all over me. When I was removing the tape, um, you know, and I put the tape again, you just put it and you kind of eyeball it. I mean, I, that, that was the easy part. You want to pull the tape off before it sets because you're, you're still pulling the liquid caulk so that, you know, if you wait two hours and it dries, you're just pulling the whole thing off with the tape, right? But anyway, so let's see here. Yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, so I, I, yeah, I did get some caulk on my hand uh, from the tape uh, because it was kind of sticking to my arm a little bit. But guess what? You can use the Jugon. Uh, that's, that's how you say it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the Jugon. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know how in this day and age they can get away with it, but um, they do. You know, but the product works real, really well, so you can rub your hands with it as well. You know, rub your hands just... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, you know, so other than for the silicone, I forgot to bring that here. Hold on. Um, at Home Depot, I bought the, um, let's see, I bought the DAB one, or DAP. I bought this stuff, the uh, DAP 
quick seal plus and it comes in a 5.5 ounce thing and I, I came came back home and I was like oh it's actually not well rated so let me get the one that is really well rated the uh, the the one that's silicone uh, GE silicone 2 uh, this is better rated. Everyone was raving about it, right? Now, this is only 2.8 ounces and costs the same as the 5.5 ounce uh, lower rated one. But what I found is uh, a tube of this. I bought three of these tubes thinking I'll probably use at least two, maybe three. I, you know, I, this whole bathroom, I, I could, this is an oversized tub, maybe 12 feet of, of, of caulking that was needed here. And I was able to do it with just one 2.8 ounce uh, thing. So I'll return two of these because, you know, I don't need it. So there's really no reason to get the bigger two, but it seems like it's purpose made for a tub and there's just enough, well, actually a little more to, to uh, put in for a full tub's worth. Um, let's see here, 2.8, yeah, I have a little checklist here. You cellophane, remove tape uh, quickly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I wash with yeah, so that's basically it. I was, you know, it, it was pretty frustrating to not really see any videos that went into how to remove that really hard, uh, just baked on caulk there. There was one guy with like a machine, some kind of spinning motor tool, and it's like, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, like blast through the whole tiles here to remove some caulk, but... Yeah, that stuff, you leave it on, and it says it has acetone in it, so maybe if you just buy the acetone or mineral spirits, or ha you have that around, maybe that'll work, but this definitely worked. It doesn't have a weird smell, they added some citrus to it, so it didn't seem too harsh or anything, but, so yeah, that's it. You know, put this on, put some cellophane around it, so you wrap it around, it doesn't evaporate, it doesn't uh, uh, flow anywhere else, it kind of concentrates it. Uh, you clean it off, you know, you, you dab it a little bit, you put some compressed air to get the little pieces out. You can use just a, a little, what do you call it, the, the, just a little painter's a putty knife. You don't need anything too sharp. It's good. If, if you need something really sharp, then it's probably too hard, and that means just soften it, right, with, the, with this stuff. Uh, let's see, the, the compressed air cleans out the little pieces. Oh yeah, make sure it doesn't go down the, uh, the drain. Generally just collect the pieces because probably that's not good to, especially with the bigger pieces, they just get clogged up and then you have another problem on your hands. But let's see here, yeah, compressed air, yeah, just clean it off. Put the bleach foaming thing in there. The toothbrush, yeah, just rub it, do it a few times, wait an hour or so, uh, dab it up. Uh, dry it overnight. Yeah, you don't want it wet. You don't want it wet. Um, let's see your paint. Yeah, put on the painter's tape. The, the, the other videos were helpful on that. So just, again, put it on top, put it on bottom. So then you can run your finger with the cellophane and it can look even. You can add a little bit more if there's a hole in there or there's areas that, um, you know, don't have enough um, yeah, cut this thing kind of near the top. You can always cut a little more. I kind of cut it a little too little. I had to squeeze really hard to get it out, but that's better than if it just gloops all out there. You know? So, um, yeah, that's basically it. And it looks great. I mean, if, if, if I, you know, if you told me, you know, pay a hundred bucks for this, I would have been like, okay, maybe, if I, I wasn't so daring about this. You know, if I had given up, I would be like, oh, this is pretty good, you know? And uh, it dries, they say it dries in 30 minutes. I still waited overnight to, to dry it and to use it, but I did take a shower maybe a few hours ago, and, you know, you can touch it now. You can, you know, it looks perfectly dry. It still has a nice, it has, a, it's a low odor, so it doesn't have a massive smell anyways, but it looks like the water isn't getting in. You can, you can see under that. There, it, it, there's like a, a, an optical illusion of a shadow on some of the places where it's a little thicker, but there's no water going underneath. So anyways, hopefully these little tips help, and that's it.